Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan led a chant of death to America. On a solidarity visit to Iran this weekend, according to Iranian news sources. He also led a chant of death to Israel. Farrakhan visited Iran ahead of the renewal of U.S. sanctions against the regime at midnight on November 5. The renewed sanctions are the result of the American withdrawal from the agreement negotiated by the Obama administration, which purported to prevent Iran's development of nuclear weapons but merely delayed it. The Al Jaminer, a Jewish community newspaper based in the U.S., reported on Farrakhan's visit, citing reports in the Iranian media. Mayer also reported that Farrakhan criticized the U.S. alliance with Saudi Arabia and the U.S.-led war on the Gaddafi regime in Libya in 2011. The Al Jaminer also cited the Irib news outlet, whose report is available through Google Translate. According to Irib, Farrakhan delivered remarks to students at the University of Tehran. Pointing to women's freedoms in the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Muslim Muslim leader said, In the Islamic Revolution of Iran, men are alongside women and women are free to reach the ultimate level of their talent. He said that the United States and Israel are one of the most feared countries in the Islamic Republic of Iran, and if we do not resist them, we will leave nothing but death and destruction for our children. The Muslim leader of the United States, in the end, stressed, make a promise of self-striving to strengthen the interest of Muslims. He then spoke the phrase death to America in Farsi, and a number of students also accompanied him. Last month, Farrakhan posted a video of a recent sermon to Twitter in which he referred to Jews as termites. Leaders of the Women's March, an anti Trump organization aligned with the Democratic Party, are unapologetic about their ties to Farrakhan.